Hello everyone, welcome back to Trophy Life Experiences. This is my review of a recent dinner I had at Published. It's located at 3593 Main Street in Vancouver. Was really looking forward to this because I had heard really great things about it from friends. Um, and unfortunately, I cannot recommend it. Not because it was really, really bad, but it was okay and um, kind of disappointed me. So, and it's a little bit um, for the price, it would, that does uh, did underwhelm me. But let's go through it. Um, again, it was a decent meal, but just I thought it was a little bit, a bit overpriced. Um, let's go to the dishes. The first dish I had was mega bone broth, which is beef shank broth, bone marrow dumplings, fourteen dollars. It was kind of neat. Um, I thought the broth was good, but um, again, these are kind of share plates, not great, not really big plates, and this wasn't that expensive, so it was okay. Next dish was the Abelskiver. I'm gonna pronounce that wrong, but it's three savory Danish donuts stuffed with stewed herbs and served on top of a fresh herb emulsion. I thought the green sauce, the emulsion was really nice and paired well. Um, their dishes actually look really great. Uh, their taste quality is okay. Uh, you're gonna see me say okay a lot. Not bad, but um, this dish I actually enjoyed because it had the um, the fresh herb emulsion with the herb, the stewed herbs inside the donuts. So I thought this was actually a pretty decent dish. Uh, I, one of my the ones that I enjoyed more that night. Um, that this is sixteen dollars. Service was okay. It wasn't unfriendly, but I wouldn't say particularly friendly. Um, polite, but okay. Um, I don't know whether we upset them or what happened, but um, they do allow corkage. Corkage is thirty-five dollars, which is quite reasonable. Um, they have a pretty decent um, wine list, also with uh, a lot of orange wines. Uh, so I like that. Um, place is very cool, and the vibe is very casual. But I wouldn't call it a real um, high-end place. So maybe the expectation was a little bit um, not uh, in line with what I what I thought. So um, the next dish is the striped, side striped prawns. Again, beautiful dish. Um, cooked and chilled side striped prawns with cucumber, apple, and horseradish, $18. Um, perfectly fine, but I wouldn't say a stunning dish, but the actual um, look of the dishes are, are really nice, are magnificent. Another um, very stunning dish in terms of the view of it. Um, this is their yellowtail. So it's yellowtail with daikon, kimchi, ponzu, and tangerine. I actually like this again, a really good dish. Um, I like the yellowtail, it was very fresh. I like the interaction with the kimchi and tangerine. So nice dish, $23. Uh, a little bit uh, getting there in price, but um, again, I, I like this dish. So it wasn't a bad meal. It was just, again, from my perspective, maybe I thought too much of it or was expecting too much and for the price i thought it was a little bit um, expensive as you'll see with some of the other dishes that i um, i'm going to go to this is another neat cute dish it's their chicken fried matiaki so chicken fried matiaki with garlic skate ranch so this take on uh, mushrooms is actually mushrooms of chicken so it looks like chicken cute dish um, again the taste is decent it's not, it doesn't really wow you, but it's a cute concept. And that's what I would say with most of the dishes that I serve. Presentation is great. I guess it's really hip, but um, in terms of the food, it doesn't, it's decent, but it doesn't really uh, wow me as some of the other restaurants that I've been to in, um, that I've re reviewed on this site. I was trying to think of a comparable review I've done on this, um, channel and the most comparable would be the Seoul Hang Korean restaurant review. Um, I'll have that at the end of this where I was very high on the restaurant, heard great things and slightly disappointed. I still recommend that restaurant. I haven't recommended this restaurant. The reason being is um, published is a little bit more pricey than Seoul Hang and the expectation was higher and maybe it's just me that I was expecting a, a higher quality restaurant. Um, again, the presentation is great and this is another great dish in terms of their presentation. This is their Pacific Octopus, citrus braised octopus, fermented chili glazed toasted almond cream. Um, their portions are small and so they are meant to be shared 
you probably need, um, if you have two people, at least six to eight dishes. And so if you're looking $20 a dish, that's $150 a person uh, between two people uh, without wine. So it's uh, not an inexpensive restaurant. Um, so um, that's why I, I was slightly disappointed with this. So this dish was nice. It's their schnitzel. It's the pork schnitzel with beer, mustard, sabion, and pickled zucchini. I actually like the dish, but it's $39. So if you look at the dish, it's about, it's basically one slice of pork schnitzel. And so that's um, pretty hefty, I think, the price. And it was good. But again, I thought that was a little bit pricey for what it was. Um, but, you know, decent dish. Um, I liked it, actually. And the last dish we had was the Agnolotti, sun choke and chevry agnolotti with chestnut applesauce and sage. This was $29, pasta dish. Um, very filling inside. Again, uh, good dish. Um, nothing wrong with any of the food, but nothing, I would say, stunning with any of the dishes. Of the dishes that we had, I think the, my favorites were probably the porch schnitzel, the octopus, um, the yellowtail, and the able skiver. They did, um, we didn't have any dessert, um, but they did give us some complimentary um, sweets, and that was nice of them. You know, it wasn't bad service, it was just, uh, I would say, uh, okay. It was not, it was not unfriendly, but it wasn't um, warm, I would say. So, um, and for that reason, I just, um, you know, I can't recommend it, um, but there was nothing really bad about it. Maybe my expectation was too high. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed this review. Until next time, happy eating.